Hey, what's good people? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to go from zero to 5k a month with your agency in less than 30 days, right? If you do SME or whether you're a freelancer, it doesn't matter, right? The rock. So, as you can see on my screen over here, I'm actually I'm recording my Google Docs. I didn't want to make this into like a fancy slide where I do some animations. I want to get straight to the point, right? So, as you can see how to go from zero to 5k a month. So, the first thing you need to do and I've outlined everything, right? Right? What are the big things that people struggle with in terms of finding success, right? A lot of people struggle in terms of finding clients. A lot of people struggle in terms of keeping clients. You might get a client for like $500, $1,000, $2,000, k a month. But the hardest part where a lot of gurus and YouTube don't talk about is keeping those clients, right? It's extremely hard. You have to get results every single month. You have to have people skills. You have to have social skills. You have to know how to talk to the clients and stuff like that. And a lot of people struggle with these things, right? You don't have a good um, DM template to send. You send a lot of DMs, no one is replying, right? A lot of things like that. But before we get into all of that, who am I and why am I qualified to talk to you guys about this? Well, my name is Will and I've been a freelancer for about five years now, five and a half years, right? And I've been an agency owner. I actually started my agency back in July. So that's like eight months, right? Wow, time has time flown by. I think it's like eight months, right? Yeah. So I've had my agency for like eight months or nine months. What? <laughs> I'm actually just calculating right now as I'm talking to you guys. But I've had my agency for a long time. And I actually posted my first video the day I started my agency. So you can check my YouTube channel, right? The SEO Flow, William SEO Flow. So um, I didn't get any clients for like four and a half years out of that. I was trying everything. I did drop shipping. I did uh, every, all the gurus online, bro. If you can mention any guru in SMA, drop shipping, um, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, all of the gurus I know each and every single one of them, right? I follow all of them, trying to mix and match all the advice they gave. Some of them just tell you bullshit, <laughs> just for you to buy their courses, right? And I bought some courses, so I didn't make any money. I wasted a lot of money. Spent like. Like two, 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 two to three k in debt, wasting money on dropshipping, wasting money on all of the stuff. Then about a year and a half ago, I reached out to one of my like friends from high school. Right, he was balling, he was making a lot of money, always flexing on Instagram stuff like that. So I was like, I just had to swallow my pride, right? Reach out to him like, hey, how you how you getting all this money and stuff like that? So he told me about web design, and I've been doing web design already because I was a freelancer for a while, right? But he told me some things to do, and I got my first client in three weeks. For like six hundred fifty dollars, right? So three weeks versus four and a half years, right? That is a difference between having someone to tell you, "Hey, do this," versus just following all the advice on YouTube. Because a lot of those guys on YouTube, they either don't make any money from what they tell you to do, or they give you outdated tips and tactics, right? So, or even if it's like a good um, strategy to use, if the video has ten thousand views, you're better than hundred guys doing the exact same thing, and hundred guys out of ten thousand. Are taking action so if those guys are taking action there's no space for you anymore it's already oversaturated right so right now i'm currently about 9k a month when i usually i'll put some this is some of the payments i've gotten over like the past two months or so so you can see i've gotten so many i also take a lot of payments through bitcoin so a lot of you guys might be thinking why am i not showing my stripe um screenshots and stuff like that a lot of you guys may not believe whoever's not going to believe you don't believe anyway. I'm not going to force you. But here are some of my screenshots. I use Bitcoin because I've had a lot of issues with Stripe. I've had a lot of issues with PayPal. I just freeze my accounts and weird shit like that. So I just use Bitcoin. No stress. Binance. I use FTX before like, oh, before Sam Backman freed took all that money and ran, ran away, right? So this is some of the payments for web design, um, graphic design, graphic design, web design, right? So these are just some of the payments in like the past two months and a lot of them or true Bitcoin so this is like 4k if you do it conversions this is like 4k just add everything up and it makes up to like 9k a month right so um now go to the next point this so if you stay on to the end I'm going to show you the exact strategy that I use personally in my agency that is helping keep clients for longer by getting them results with google ads right because a lot of people they use google ads facebook ads but they, they don't get any results you run a lot of ads just waste money for your clients and they end up like asking for a refund or they just cut you off so i'm going to show you the exact strategy i use 
to create landing pages to get higher conversion rates. So this in turn makes your campaigns more profitable, right? So just stay until the end and don't miss it. So I think I've already told you about my story, right? Well, let me just like give you a greater breakdown, like who am I, right? So first of all, I am Nigerian and like I've had a lot of issues with my parents. So if, if you guys were wondering why I'm paying off my student loans by myself, right? And that's why you don't see me with like a lot of fancy stuff because I'm almost all the money, almost all the money I make is going into like paying off student loans, right? So I was kicked out. Um, I think that was like two years ago or so. I was kicked out of my parents' house. We had a lot of issues. Um, I might go into that later on, but right now I don't want to go into too much of that, but I was kicked out in essence. And I had to like make my money myself, right? So um, that was basically a, like a few years before I was kicked out at home. It was basically a war zone, right? Every day, just issues and issues. So I had to move to the States, got some money from um, dropshipping and stuff like that and moved to the States not too long ago, right? just before I started my agency. So um, that's why you see on my older videos, I have like a strong um, West African accent, right? And that's because I just moved here and I'm paying off my student loans, trying to do finish college, right? I might drop out, I'm not sure. But, um, well, my parents were very, very wealthy, like, compared to, like, all the guys in West Africa, Nigeria, right? My dad was, like, a military man. My mom was a nurse. And, well, they were actually very, very wealthy, but he's the type of parent that you just have, like, a good home. So I'm not complaining about having a good home or having... A good um place to sleep but it's the type of parent that you don't see any dollar out of the money right like if it comes to like going on vacations or having stuff to like actually hold that hey this is my money you don't see any of that stuff it's just like hey i'm paying school fees i'm paying your college tuition i'm paying for this i'm paying for your medical expenses just like the basic needs so i always knew that that wasn't what i wanted to do for like my family when i get fam uh, family later on i didn't want to like just pay for the basic stuff right even though i had a lot of money always like wondering because he was living on pension he's already retired right so he can't just like ball out and even when we were younger he was never the type of person to just like splurge right so um my parents were wealthy but not like crazy wealthy just like very very well let, let me just say the entry upper class right so i don't want to go into like the usual niche um or the cliche of like gurus talking about how their parents were living on food stamps and stuff no that isn't me i'm not gonna lie about that so let's just get that straight so basically um i was always looking for ways to make money and i studied for microbiology and i was actually very, very good in school but um I always knew that I couldn't just focus on books, books, books forever. I actually had to find a way to make money for myself. And that's when I stumbled onto SMA. And now I'm currently making about 9K a month and about 6K a month in profit, right? So that's basically an abridged version, a summarized version of my story. I don't want to go into all of my story here. This is not why we're here, right? I want to make this video as concise as possible. So who this? who is this for? First of all, if you're like working a job right now, and you're trying to find a way to leave your job, but you don't have something to like work on. If you're trying to like start a business on um, dropshipping, as an FBA, you've looked at all the income streams and you've stumbled on like making money online through SMA, social media marketing agency, right? This is a very, very good business model, right? And SMA basically you do um, social media mar marketing, you do a lot of management, advertising, um, anything that has to do with like social media and getting clients for businesses, right? Running ads, managing like Instagram, the, the Instagram pages, the Facebook pages, running ads, bringing clients through the door, through social media. It doesn't matter if it's Facebook, if it's Instagram, Google ads, Facebook ads, whatever. That's the essence of social media marketing, social media marketing agency. So if you have a 9 to 5 job right now and you're trying to look for a way to escape that 9 to 5, the rat race, right? And you want to have like time freedom to wake up anytime you want. Like today, I just woke up like 12 um, in the afternoon, right? No alarm, no, like, nothing, like, nothing to rush to, right? I just woke up on my own accord, did whatever I wanted. And if you want that too, this is the right business model for you. Most times I work like two to three hours a day. Sometimes I go a whole week without working. 
and nothing happens. So if you're if you're a high school or a college student, you feel like between like the ages of like 13 to like 20, this is good for you also, right? You may be broke, you may have a lot of money from your parents and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. And this also works if you're an entrepreneur or you're a business owner and you're looking to diversify. Like let's say you already have a business model that you're using right now and you're trying to start another business, right? This is really good. So why do we do SMA? Do SMA for the following reasons, right? Let me just blow this up real quick. For the lifestyle, right? Like I already said, waking up anytime you want, time freedom. If you want to travel to like Barbados, if you want to travel to like Dubai, Habibi. <laughs> if you want to travel like, to, um, if you want to travel to like Sweden, whatever. As long as you have money, you can go. You don't have to take permission from your boss. You don't have to take permission from anybody, right? You can just travel anywhere you want and anytime you want to go. And this will also help you prove your doubters wrong. Like if you've always had like a chip on your shoulder, right? Like for example, that's what I've had from my parents and stuff like that. So you're looking for a way to make crazy money and prove the people have always told you you wouldn't make it. This is a way to prove them wrong. The third thing is being able to buy the latest phones and cars. If you've always had friends, they've envious of like they've had the latest iPhones, they've had the latest cars, and they've had the latest like all the cool shit, right? This is a way you can if you're making nine K a month, if you're making ten K a month, five K a month, twenty K a month, you can definitely buy the latest iPhones, you can buy the latest cars if you pay like a down payment of like twenty percent and get like a lease or stuff like that. You can you can you can even finance the cars, right? That is not a problem. You can also be like the richest um in your friend group or family and you can bring everyone up, right? Everyone can win at the same time. Right? If you've always felt like you're like the you're like the back warmer, like the bench warmer of your friend group. This can help you catapult to the forefront, right? So, what is the overview of SMA? I've already talked about that. And the earning potential. I, in my first month of my agency, you can check my channel, I was making like 2K a month. It just got steady, kept growing up for like three months or four months. Then it stayed around 9K a month. And that's on purpose. I'm not like stagnated. I've actually stopped doing outreach because the amount of clients I'm working with right now is getting overwhelming. Even just like 9K a month. I, didn't, I really don't want to go over that for now, but the earning potential is insane. There are so many agency owners that are making like 300K a month, 300K, they're working with like 100 clients. You can see so many guys, check on YouTube, check on like Facebook, Instagram, you see so many agencies and some of them don't even have YouTube channels. They just get a lot of clients and they get a lot of results. The agency is making $3 million a month. And even like this guy's agency, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, right? Gary V, his agency makes like $100 million a year or something. Um, Gary V Media or whatever. So the earning potential is insane. The profit margins might be smaller, right? Because you have a lot of employees, you have a lot of overhead, you're paying for ads, you're paying for office space and stuff like that. Then the budget to start, right? The budget in general, let me just use the notes. Um, $200 is a good amount. Like if you have $200, you can pay for stuff like Lemlist. If you want to do a lot of email marketing, that's like $50 a month, right? Then a domain, it's like $10 a year. Then whatever, like in Gmail, like a professional Gmail business, right? I think that's like fifteen dollars a year. Then um, a website, right? It's like like twenty dollars a month or something if you use Webflow. And you can also use free with Webflow, right? It's just that you have to use like a branded domain, right? You can't change. For example, if your name is like James, you have to use www.james.webflow.io, right, or .com or something. But if you actually pay for Webflow, like twenty dollars a month, you can actually have www.james.com, right. So that's just the difference. So this is these are the only things you need, and maybe if you want to buy followers as well, buy followers, right? Um, like five k followers would cost you like. Um, like twenty, like twenty dollars or something, or fifteen dollars, right? So you can see you don't have, you don't need a lot of money, right, to start. So what are the common mistakes? There's so many mistakes, and oh, uh, we try to get into them like later on. But there's so many mistakes people make. First of all, you can see people making mistakes of listening to the wrong people, right? Listen to the wrong people, get in getting um duped by media buyers and stuff like that there's so many mistakes and i can't really go into that in this um webinar right 
but what is a, the roadmap of the agency ladder system so this is my system and i call it the agency ladder so the first ladder just visualize the ladder right there's there are three rungs the first rung right that you start from is by getting clients on upwork or twitter those are the first clients those are the smallest clients like um, $50 clients, $200 clients, $300 clients on Upwork, right? You can send like 150 proposals and that will cost you like $50 or something. So you can send like 150 proposals on Upwork and that will get you a client of like $200. Make sure it's like personalized, right? You can just copy and paste. So if you send like 150 proposals, you can get a client for like $200. So if you spend $50 and making $200, $300 or something like that, right? Then you then take that money and go to step two. Step two is... <laughs> Step two is taking that money and hiring a, um, an outreach um, assistant, right? That's what I call it, an outreach assistant. So that's the second step. So you can go on Upwork, you can hire any of your friends. If you have like broke friends or something, you can just pay them like $100 a month, $200, $200 a month to do outreach for you. Whether it's cold emails, whether it's like Instagram DMs, whatever. So you can hire like two guys, three guys for like $300. No matter, it depends on the client you got or the amount of budget you have. Some people have more budget than others. So you don't hire those guys, you teach them how to do it, how to do outreach, how to do all the stuff. And they can send like 50, 50 DMs a day, 100 DMs a day. And in total, you can send like 150 DMs, 200 DMs a day, 300 DMs a day. And that is what will help you to do code outreach because code outreach is a crazy numbers game, like Instagram, code emails and stuff like that. You need to send like a thousand DMs, 2,000 emails to get a client. And if you're trying to do it yourself, you're in for root, um, <laughs> root awakening. You re you're in for a huge surprise because you're going to be spinning your wheels. But if you actually hire people to do it for you, you don't get burnt out. You don't get like imposter syndrome. You don't get a lot of like no's or rejections. And basically just like your mental, your mental health is protected. And that's extremely important, right? Don't forget that. So once you do that and do that as a step two, hire media buyers, train them, on how to set outreach then step three is now taking that to the next level and now getting bigger clients because the clients you get on twitter your clients you get on upwork they usually won't be as big as the clients you get for like cold emails or like linkedin outreach and stuff like that because you are the only competition but if you're reaching out to a client on upwork you're like 100 guys have already applied for the same job you're applying to right so you can see the competition level so they have to pay you less right so as it goes on, you can just get clients for like 2K a month, 3K a month. And that's exactly what I did. And that's the agency ladder system, right? Step one, step two, step three. And you're making 5K a month, 10K a month. It's easy. So, not easy, but <laughs> reliably, right? So, then that's basically how to get to, from zero to 5K a month. So, I just I just um, said that without even knowing what I was going to say. So, what, how do you optimize your profile on, I, your profile on IG, right? So... I'm gonna try to go over to Instagram. So I'm over here on Instagram, right? And there's so many things you need to do to optimize your profile. First of all, you can see I have 344 posts. You don't need as much as that. All you need is like 12 posts, right? Just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you need to have 12 posts on your profile, right? So let me go back to the notes section. You don't need to have 344 posts, like I said. All you just need to have is like 12 posts. That's the first thing. The second thing, you need to have story highlights, like this stuff here. You can just post like um, screenshots you've gotten for your clients or like results you've gotten for your clients, right? You can just post it over there. Just make like two or one. Then you can have like a bio funnel. Like, hey, this is, this is my name. This is what I am. This is what I do. This is my past results and a free case study. So I have a page where I put like a free case study and you can just watch it. And after watching, you can book a call. So that's basically like a funnel, right? So you can see I have, it's very, very optimized. And I both built it, um, built it using Webflow, right? So it's like a video sales letter. Like you're watching a webinar of me showing you a webinar. So it's like an infinite uh, sales glitch. So you can see it's like a sales funnel. Just me going over how I got $1.7 million in property sales. I have no idea what this is loading. Oh yeah, so you can see basically what I'm doing right now that I did before. So you can see I have links to book a call. Or you can see Calendly down here. And you can see I have a lot of, so that's basically what I advise all my students to do. 
take the time just to create a video it doesn't have to be this long it can just be like a 10 minute video like a youtube video 20 minute video the longer the better though and you can just put it on on the website and pull like screenshots and case studies if you get it so we just help you build that trust right so then you can now have like reviews you can see i have a review a client review right here and you can see this is like a web design project i did this is um a google ads uh, client i had right you can see now this is just me basically what i had on the page and on that video that i just showed you i have it in text format so you can see just like me saying what i did and i've had a lot of people reach out to me then i just have um like weekly or twice a week uploads you can see just like tutorials then me sharing some screenshots tutorials screenshots stuff like that just me giving value so that's all you need then you need a lot of followers too if you don't have the time to like grow your page you can run ads and if you can't run ads you can just buy followers right it's very cheap like i said so going back to this that's your profile optimization right then you need a dm template as well i'm going to show you a quick dm templates that i use so um i have a video on this so i'll try to like let me just go over to my um youtube channel let me just go over to my um youtube studio or how do i even search for that stuff i'm trying to like show you some of the videos i've made so you can just watch that because i can't possibly go into so much detail right but so you can see i have a video i'm um, talking about how to dm guys this fast method says your search rate on my channel increase reply rates on instagram outreach dms right so let me just go over to instagram to show you what i'm talking about so you just search so you just search for anybody like they just search for like realtor miami so you see a lot of real estate agents in miami so they just click on this i'm just clicking on random names right so the dm strategy that you're going to use is you go over to one of the like posts right so just look for something that they've posted so you can see should i rent to buy in 2023 so what you can just do and should i rent or should i buy in 2000 so what you can just do is you can comment something that's related to like the post so you can just say hey i think renting is a far better option with the current market but uh covid period was much more favorable to buying out right then that's like a comment to show that you're not above because these guys can see right here you can see sent pick to this sent pick so these guys you already get a lot of bug comments right a lot of like low bug comments a lot of like um people using automation tools so you have to do something to like stand out right i think all the all the posts all the comments here are like bots i think she's using a bot or something but what i was saying is so after saying something like this just to show that you're a real person because nobody will ever say this right so you have to show that you're a real person that you now see would love to talk just sent you a dm what's the name katia right you can just see the love to talk just sent you a dm katia so you can see this is the perfect step one this is the first step you need to do so i have to send them this right so the next thing you need to do is if if she has a, like a story this is one better but what you usually do is just go to a message and dm her so you can see you can just say um saw your post about um renting versus buying really open my eyes so just give them like a compliment right and make sure the compliment is actually based on reality it's not just like you making up shit so really open my eyes right and just say like thanks for sharing cats here right we can just take this to the beginning like hi cat here right sorry post on renting about renting versus buying right so this is like the step two so you're dming them so and you know that a lot of people the lack of dms a lot of people they don't get um notifications if someone dms them so what you need to do is you need to comment like and everyone no matter how big you are you always get notifications for comments unless if like you're getting like a million comments in the post and none of these guys are getting a million comments on the post so comment on the post and they'll see 
and they'll check DMs like, hey, who's this person? And the whole goal of this is to make sure you don't look like you're trying to sell them something in the beginning. You're trying to look like you're a buyer or you're a potential buyer. You're not like lying to them because you're not telling them you want to buy something. You're just like coming off as a buyer. So they reach into the DMs. So let's just send the DM to this girl, right? So um, I'm trying to DM her and I can't. But I'm just trying to get into my DMs. I'll try to like blur this out. I can't DM her. So what I'll just try to do is. Mm, so you can see, um, here's like a DM. This didn't actually go well, right? But let's just assume we're going after, because I think I can't actually DM. It's like a glitch on Instagram. I can't DM people from my laptop. But if I use my phone, it goes perfectly well. So let's just assume. The first thing you need to do is let me just delete all of this. Right? Just delete this real quick. Okay. So let's just delete it. So let's just carry on from the conversation we have with Caddy, right? She just say like saw your post on renting versus buying cat cat here really opened my eyes thanks for sharing right so that's the first thing you need to do then you now wait it takes sometimes you might reply in like 30 minutes sometimes you might reply in like a week two weeks so you just wait then after the res respond like hey thanks for your kind words that's what they usually say like hey thanks right so after that you now say this is step two to right you now say you're welcome then you now introduce yourself like say hey my name is will my name's will by the way oh uh, um you can just say like where you at wherever um, wherever you're located right you can just say um based in iowa at the moment um have any properties here um or you can just say like those homes are still on the market so you can see i'm asking her like because on her page she had like some other homes that she posted right so you can just ask if they're on the market so you're trying to like transition from like giving a compliment to like hey i can help you with marketing but you can't just go straight into that you have to like sweeten it up a bit so you have to say oh, those homes are still in the market then step three then once she says yes they're still in the market do you want to buy so she's at this point she's still she's still she still thinks that you're a customer a potential customer a lead so this is when you're now going to like saying that okay um now try to like smoothen it up a bit so you can just say hey i want to run ads for you so you can now smoothen it up a bit and say like hey um or are you getting enough inquiries and dms or phone calls about the property at the moment so this is for real estate so you can just use this for whatever industry you at just use like just copy, but don't copy word for word, bro. <laughs> so you can see this is like step three. This is like slowly going into like, oh, I'm a marketer. So if, and at this point, bear in mind, a lot of people start ghosting you at this point, right? A lot of people ghost you, right? So this is normal. Once you start like, because a lot of people at this point, they would have checked your profile. And if your profile is optimized, they're like, oh, this person's a marketer, right? Those guys, they don't want you to hire you. You don't want them anyway. Have the bond, abundance mindset. Know that you'll get another client if those guys don't want to buy. So, if they say yes, a lot of people will say no, a lot of people will ghost you, but the person that says, I'm not getting enough inquiries at the moment, right? You cannot say, oh, or step four, right? You cannot say, oh, that's, or you can just say, thanks for sharing that, right? Thanks for sharing. So now this is when you're not moving to your pitch. The reason I asked was because, right, because we just, helped 
the Maritech business. We just helped a realtor based in Miami bring in 2.2 million US dollars in property sales from four properties in the, in the past three months, right? But let's just say 90 days. And this brought her whatever commission, like let's just say like 200, like 180K in commissions. V I would love to show you exactly how I got those results for her. They now send screenshots. Step five send two to three screenshots and like you can even send a review, you have like a video review, you can just send like a video review and possibly if you have one, a video review, right? So this is like building the social proof. Then even better, what you can do, <laughs> sometimes a lot of clients might ask. So you want to do it before they ask, right? So this is step six. So this is what a lot of agencies don't do. You then tag the page of the realtor. You got those results for right so whatever if it's like at katia realtor whatever you then tag the person so they can go a lot of people just by doing it first before they ask it's the same thing as like um a police officer stopping you at the traffic light or something before they ask if you give them like your bags give them everything they might not actually check it because like hey if this person is hiding something why would they give me this so easily but if you're like dragging on you're trying to like prove that you're smart and stuff like that. That is when they want to check to see what you're hiding, right? So just by sending it, so you can, this is step six. Then, well, I think I actually got a page, I just guessed that. So this is step six, then after the person is like, okay, um, this, 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 a lot of people will ghost you at this point too. So that's why you have to send a lot of DMs. So once you get to this point and you're like, hey, okay. And the person is like, okay, I would love to talk on a call, right? And that is when you now say, okay, um, um, and this is step, seven right and this is where a lot of people also mess up right they send them their calendar link or the booking page bro that doesn't work like that anymore it still works if you send a lot of dms but for efficiency purposes it doesn't really work so what you can then do is you can just say i'm open just copy and paste this i'm open at 11 a.m eastern tomorrow can i get your best phone number so i can call you then so this is game time this is bullseye right here so you're basically the reason why you're getting a phone number is because they just have to type in the phone number you can now call them right they're always on the phone every realtor in the bit in the country always uses the phone most local businesses they use the phone it's very rare for you to see a local business that doesn't use the phone a lot of people use instagram but you use phones more often right so and that's the first thing the second thing is if you're giving them a kind of link, they have to click on the link, go to the page, fill in a form, do all of that, um, check the time, check everything. There's so many steps. And if you, if you do a lot of DMs, you will teach yourself. Once you send the kind of link, you have to start chasing guys like, hey, have you booked the call? Hey, have you booked the time? Just cut all of that out. Just cut that out at the, at the tip and just get the phone number. And a huge hack I have seen, and I'll put this um, later on, because a lot of people have paid me thousands of dollars just to get this information I'm giving you right now. A huge hack I've seen is once you get the phone number, let's say you actually have some things you want to show them on Zoom or Google Meets and you want to show them some slides and presentations and stuff like that. So on the phone call, once you're on the call, let's say like 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, right? You can just call them, hey, this is Will, this, this, this. Then like just greet them, ex exchange pleasant, pleasantries and stuff like that. Then after that, you can just say, hey, um, sorry about this, but I actually have some presentation slides I want to show you on Zoom and I'll send the link in the SMS, right? So as you're talking with them right now on the call, I'll just, you, you'd already gotten that story out before the call. So you just call or you just type it in the SMS. So you're just like, hey, I'm sending you SMS, please click on the link, let's jump on Zoom. Then you jump on Zoom. You can see they're already on the phone with you. So there's no reason for them to like not jump on Zoom, right? It's just like the next step. But if you give them the Zoom meeting link, 
is like so many steps, right? So this is like step people pay me thousands of dollars, right? Mentorship programs and stuff like that. Just learn this stuff and I'm giving you guys for free. So make sure to share this video if that really helped you. And we're all about value, baby. So the next thing you need to know is basically how to find businesses to reach out to. You. So a lot of people have struggled with that, how to find realtors, how to find enough, like if you're doing construction businesses, roofing businesses, how to find enough realtors, how to find enough business owners to reach out to. So let's get back to Instagram and the strategy I use is what you're going to use, right? Just search something like Realtor in Miami or let's use something as like Roofing Miami or Kansas or something or, tech or Dallas, right? So let's just use Roofing Dallas, right? So you can see, this is a lot of companies. You can see, these are the guys. You can reach out to these guys, but you can see, if you keep scrolling, you can see, they're just like 20 guys or 10 guys here. So that is not enough, right? If you're doing a lot of DMs, that is not enough. So what you then do is, you click on any of the profiles just at random. Then you go over to the profiles and their follower, right? Businesses follow other businesses in the same industry. It's just how it goes. So by going to the followers, you're gonna see a lot of roofing companies. Some of them are based in Dallas, some of them are based in Texas, but just roofing companies in general. So you can see DFW, this is roofing. You can see the icon right there. And you can see that's one. This is two, Russian roofing, right? You can see this is a real, okay, this is a roofing company. So, okay, this is Dallas, Dallas Fort, um, Fort Worth, right? DFW, so you can see this is, and most of these guys, they might be roofing um, company owners, but this is like their personal accounts, right? So you can see, just keep doing this. You can scroll, scroll, scroll. And that's why you need to hire guys to do this for you, right? There's some industries that you may see a lot of guys on Instagram. There's some industries that use Instagram more than Facebook. There's some industries that use Facebook more than Instagram. For example, if you're reaching out to like crypto guys, if you have like a crypto agency and you're reaching out to like crypto bros, NFT bros, everyone is on Twitter. You might reach out to like 10 guys on Twitter, like uh, NFT guys, and like nine of them will reply. Like reply rates are crazy because they use Twitter. You don't see them on Instagram. You don't see them on like Facebook. Or whatever. <laughs> Those are Gen Zs and millennials. Very, very tech savvy guys. They don't use Twitter. They don't use Facebook. They don't use Instagram. They use Twitter. Um, construction businesses, a lot of them use Facebook, right? You may see it because it's like mostly like 25 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, right? So they grew up with Facebook and they're more used to Facebook. Instagram is more for like realtors or people who do a lot of like very, very media heavy companies, right? Like maybe like a surgeon or something that do, if you're reaching out to like influencers and you're helping influencers with video editing and stuff like that, Instagram is very good. So you can see, just keep scrolling, just keep scrolling, right? You can see this is a Harrison building. I'm guessing this is a roofing company, right? You can see another roofing company. So you can see, you just keep scrolling and you can see 599 followers. Once you gone through everyone and you haven't seen anyone left you can now go back and search again roofing you can go to another state or you can go to the same state and check let's go to roofing new york right new york so you can see so many guys who do roofing in new york and can just keep doing that and that's how you get a lot of guys to reach out to right so what is the next step how to find clients on Twitter. I've already made a video on this. You can check my channel, how to find clients on Twitter, right? But let's just go into an, a quick overview of how you do it. So uh, you can see I, I have so many tabs open. These are all accounts that I follow and I always apply for jobs whenever they apply for jobs, right? So um, what you can do is you can just search for something like if someone is trying to find a web designer, what do they type in? who makes websites or I need a web designer and stuff like that. So you can just type in like who make, right, who makes website. So you can see who makes me, who can make me a website, who can make a website for me. So you can just click on, let's just go to latest. Okay, so well, let's just go back to top since we're just doing for like demonstration purposes. But the thing is, you don't want to reach out to people that posted a job for like 12 hours or more because most likely they've gotten someone else. So you can just reach out to like someone like this. Let's just find someone. 
who makes a website, right? Who can make a website? You can just click on this. Who can make a website for me, right? Then you see, as you saw, there were like 70 guys that reach out to these guys. So you can just scroll through this, right? You can see so many guys. So let's just click on any of them, anyone, right? So if you click on any of these profiles, right, then you then go, and the thing about Twitter is every single thing you do is public unless you bookmark yourself then yourself. If you, if you reply, if you tweet, it's public. So you can go to tweet or replies, right? So those guys that were replying to a tweet, apply for a job. Chances are they're also applying for more jobs, right? So what you can do is you can go over to the reply so you can see this person is also applying for more jobs you can see so what you do is just go over to all these profiles right they're like 70 profiles here so it doesn't end you just keep scrolling check the profiles check everything check any job you've posted right so we can see do i know does anyone know someone who can make us a design for a hoodie so you can see the social media marketing jobs web design jobs graphic design jobs any type of job on twitter but the thing is, these jobs, they usually pay a low amount. Not as low as Upwork, right? Upwork pays the least. But it's not as high as, like, if you reach out to a client on your own. So how do you then apply for these jobs, right? What you can do is, you can now reach, you can now click on the person's profile. Okay, most of them, they usually have the DMs open. So this is a bummer. If they have the DMs open, you can just DM them and copy and paste a template I use. You can download my cheat sheet. Go to my YouTube channel, check out my latest videos, download the cheat sheet. And you see the DM templates there. But you can go over to the Instagram and DM them there. And what I also do is just to stand out, right? Now you can go over to like any of the posts. Okay, she thinks she's blocked um replies or something. So you can see you can just go over to I think she blocks replies on all the posts. But I'm trying to like just go over to like a post where she hasn't blocked replies. I think she blocks replies and everything. So let's just bounce. So um, let's just click on this guy, right? Kelechi. WRX KC. So let's just click on his profile and see if he's posted any jobs. If he's posted anything that you can reply to. So he's locked off his DM again. But what you can just do is you can just go over to any of his tweets. You can see. I have no idea what this guy's tweeting. So okay. His tweets are really. So you can see happy birthday to his little sister. So you can just comment like comment like hey, happy birthday to her too. Like you can just see. Something like happy birthday to her. If you get what I mean. To her, right? Um hope y'all enjoyed the day. So just that's just like giving a compliment, just giving like a comment to say, hey, I'm not a robot and I actually read what you said. Then you can now say something like, um, also, I saw you were looking for a website designer, right? Just ignore me. I would love to help. Here is my portfolio, the link. Then here is my path to client jobs. Then link, link one link to and i'll say something like um please dm me your inbox is locked right if the person's dm is open you can just say here i just dm you please check, please check your dms so it works both ways right so uh I think is this still working? so Please DM your inbox is loud. Any, any of those, and this is how I've gotten so many clients from two thousand dollar clients to like a thousand dollar clients, five hundred dollar clients, all on Twitter. Then you can now use that money and hire appointment setters, outreach, um, outreach assistants, outreach setters, whatever you want to call them, 
and those guys can now help you get even bigger clients, right? So we're getting closer to the end. Okay, so so you can see you can now see. Let me just check. This is still recording. It's been an hour, so you can see. And if you want to learn about Google and Facebook ads, the thing is, I do Google and Facebook ads myself, but I'm not exactly the best at it. I'm not like a guru, so I have a lot of videos on my channel, and you can check the free. If you just check my channel, I have a playlist, free zero to five k a month SME course, and I have there are a lot of videos there that will show you how to like reach out, to, how to like get clients for like, um, how to what am I saying? How to run ads for Facebook or Facebook ads, right? So let's just go over to YouTube and search for some of those videos. Bro. So let's just search for Jordan Lee. He's one of the guys that I trust. Jordan Lee, Google Ads. So he has a lot of Google Ads videos. So you can just search. And these are approved. I actually know that these videos are are good because these are what I use myself to run ads and I get a lot, I get a lot of results from my clients. All right, so you can see this seven months ago. This is the one is actually better than this one because this one is quite basic. And I've watched this, but this is the better one. Jordan Lee Google Ads, you can see um Cam um Ecom King course, right? He has a video on I think that's like a seven hour course. Right? So this is it. Uh oh. Yeah, seven hours. What's up? Seven hours, right? So if you click on it, it'll take you to. There's like a section where's um and I think it's what's his what's his name? He actually. So what you can just do is you can skip over to, um, the Google Ads part. There's a Facebook Ads part. Right, how to set up your TikTok if you want to run TikTok ads, YouTube ads, whatever. These are some of the best guys in the world. Yeah, Suraj, right? You can learn from him, Facebook ads, whatever. He also knows how to run Google ads. So, uh, Google ads, Jorge Vieira, Jorge, I mean, Jorge Vieira, right? So you can see those are the videos I recommend. You can learn from those guys. They're better, better than me, better than me, better than me. I have no idea to pronounce, bro. I'm running a little sleep. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm making this video. <laughs> so I'm about to show you my hack with landing page to get better results with Google Ads. So a lot of people what they do is they just run ads from Google straight to the website, so like a real estate website or like a construction website, and they wonder why you're not getting any sales. Bro, you can't run ads to like a regular website. The website lo loads slowly, there are a lot of distractions, there isn't a clear call to action, there is just like just a jungle mess, right? So you need to have a good landing page that is very, very optimized, right? So for example, let's just search for um, apartments, Miami, right? So you can see, let's just search for this. Let's just click on this. So this is someone that's running a Google ad. I'm so sorry for making you spend money, even though I'm not going to buy this. But you can see, okay, this person has a video. That is good. Oh yeah, so this is really good. You can see right here, you can see $3,000 a month, two available. So if you click on this, you can definitely like book a spot. You can pay directly and they have a floor plan, lease now. So you can see this is really good. This is a very good example of a landing page when you're running Google ads. But a lot of people also just run ads to like a regular website, to the homepage of a website and they wonder why they didn't get any sales. So going back to my Instagram, I want to show you an example of a landing page that actually is even better than what I just showed you now. You can go over to my the link I have in my profile, right? So this I can't actually show you any of the um, profiles or any of the landing pages I use for my clients because NDAs, right? But this is a very, very close replica of what I did. But this is what I use for my business, right? And I wouldn't use something for my business that doesn't work. So you can see I have like very clear like messaging. This is a free case study and I'm going to show you the results and stuff like that. So you can change this to like um homes, 
in Miami room apartments and stuff like that. So you can just put like a small video of you, like aerial shots and showing some of the apartments. Then you can now have like a link to book a call and you can have like, okay, this is, you can have reviews from clients, testimonies from clients, right? And that's just something that those guys will miss it. Then screenshots, they don't really need this. What you just need is like some of the apartments, like, hey, this is an apartment in downtown um, Chicago, $3,000 a month. Here's another apartment for this for 5K a month and stuff like that. So this is basically what we do then. You need more buttons and more reviews. Reviews are extremely important. You need to have reviews of past clients, past tenants, giving you glowing reviews. So that is basically that. Then, and that alone, it might seem simple, but that alone is taking our conversion rate from like 2 to 3%. And that is what the usual website gets, 2 to 3, 2 to 3%, right? Taking that all the way to like 20% 20, 20 conversion rate. So if we send 100 visitors to a website, to our landing pages, right? We get 20 of them to like either click a call, click a phone number to call or fill in a form. That's crazy. And just imagine if you spend $100 for like your daily ad spend, right? Imagine just how much, how much more profitable it'll be. So now I'm going to talk about all of this, right? I don't actually have a course that I'm trying to sell you. So if you had that fence up all this while, I don't have a course. I'm not selling a course, but there are a lot of disadvantages and advantages of running it yourself. Like if you're trying to do something, you're trying to do everything yourself. If you're lucky, you might get a lot of clients in like a month, two months, like you see on YouTube. But if you're like the rest of us, like me, or like a lot of people that you see in Facebook groups, a lot of people talking, you might spend four and a half years, like me, trying to get your first client, right? And that was what I did. I was trying to like do everything myself. I was like, because I'm pretty smart. I'm not like in a boastful way, but I know I'm very, very smart. I've always got amazing grades. I'm a critical thinker. And I was thinking, hey, I can do this myself. I was following a lot of guys from Russia, some guys from the US, some guys from the UK, some guys from Canada, just mixing and matching all the advice on the internet. And that was a big reason why I didn't get anywhere. And another reason was because I wasn't paying for it, so I wasn't really taking it serious. I needed the money, but I wasn't really taking it serious. I wasn't taking crazy action, right? So the disadvantages of doing it yourself is it might take you three months to learn something that can take you three days working with a mentor or working with a coach, right? Three months it might take you four and a half years to make, to tell you something that you know have learned in three weeks, like in my case. And I'm telling you this stuff with so much passion because it has happened to me, right? Then the benefit of working with me in the agency letter program, that's my mentorship program, is that you get one-on-one -on -one group help, right? Instead of group help, sorry, you get one-on-one -on -one help instead of group help. A lot of people that do mentorship programs, a lot of people that, that sell you courses, it's just like a group program. That's good because it has a community. And I have a Discord server for community purposes, but you get one-on-one -on -one, like help. You also get four coaching calls a month. Four. None of these guys are helping you to do that. And most of those guys don't get the kind of results I get with my agency. And those guys, they just give you like one call a month. They give you four coaching calls a month, once a week, every Sunday, every Saturday, right? That's why you see me hardly post on social media on site because I'm doing a lot of calls. Then I also personally audit, like I help you change and help you check your email templates, your DM templates on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, your profiles. I help you personally help you change your profiles, fix up everything, your upper um, proposals. I check everything like one-on-one. -on -one. It's not just like, hey, do this, do this. I'm just like giving you blanket advice. I'm giving you one-on-one -on -one advice. Hey, change this. Hey, take this picture this way. Hey, do this DM this way. Hey, go into this meeting and do this. Everything, right? So if you want to join the mentorship program, imagine if I've given you all of this stuff for free. Imagine what my mentorship program entails. So you can click on the green, the massive green button down below to book a call, right? It's not free, it's not cheap, but this is going to get you results. You don't want to get to like 5K a month, 10K a month. You need to pay to play, right? It doesn't matter. A lot of guys spend money on iPhones, spend money on crazy stuff. If you're trying to break out of your 9 to 5, if you're trying to get into like a position where you don't have to worry about paying your rent, you don't have to worry about paying your bills. You don't have to worry about all that shit, right? You can take the step right now, and you might like you might actually look back on this like two years from now, three years from now, and be so much more happy because you've taken the right step right now, right? You have to pay to play. So you can book a call down below with me or my team, and we will have. Um, so I'm supposed to show you my testimonies from um, students. So let's go over to my Instagram. I actually just post everything on my Instagram, so it's like, 
I don't have anything to hide. Oh, so you can just go over to my student results right here. And you can see so many. You can pause this at any point. You can see I have somebody just secured a meeting. You can see this is a mentorship um, student of mine. He closed a client for 650 euros. Another um, student of mine closed a 300 upper client in four days, right? Another client, the same, I think it's the same student, 450 um, euros, there, like 500 dollars points. Yep. Um, okay, so I have no idea what's happening. So this this guy, I think he just, okay, yeah, he just got a client. He wasn't my mentorship program student. He just watched my free videos, right? And he got a client for like 600 dollars. So, yeah, this guy just, yeah, this one booked a meeting. This one got a client for like $500. This one got a client for $2,200. And I think it's my first student to hit 5K a month. I have another student that just hit like 3K a month, and I'll post the screenshot, I think, today or tomorrow. So you can see this one also got, I think, no, I think this one was getting, okay, yeah. This one was getting results from my LinkedIn. This one also booked two meetings. It's part of my Discord server. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this was just giving like kind of words. This is me booking meetings with a potential um, $1,000 a month client. This is me booking meetings. This is me book. Um, okay, this is one of my Discord server members booking meetings, right? You can see so many. Okay, this one got a client. He's like a student, of, like a mentorship program, mentorship student of mine. He booked, got a client for like, I think, $800 or something, right? So this one also got another client. So you can see so many of these guys are getting clients left and right, left and right. And you can see even me, I'm not like just trying to get your money and run away. I've been doing this. You can see 300 or something posts. Right? If, you, if you scroll down, you can see I've been posting for like two years now consistently. I'm not going anywhere. Yep. So <laughs> just keep scrolling. You can see I've been posting. This is like my agency progress report from... 37 weeks ago, June 13th, 2002. You can see 2022. <laughs> I haven't been here since 2002. You can see I'm making videos, doing the work, putting the nine yards, doing all everything to succeed, right? So you can see. So uh, I don't want this to drag on too long. If you want to book a call and take your agency to the next level, you can join a mentorship program. Click on the green button down below, and I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget to share this video. You can share this landing page if this has helped you as well. This is like a free course, completely free, and I'm just giving it for free, no strings attached. If you don't want to join the message program, you can just take this, get clients, like all the other guys that watch my videos, they've gotten clients from my videos for free without paying anything. So I'll catch you all soon. Peace.